This video tutorial is an advanced administration uh, tutorial on basic permissions and specifically how to hide certain tabs or links within the tabs. The first thing we need to look at is permissions itself and to do this we're going to go into the actions tab, system actions and this will bring up uh, two boxes here. The right one controls the top menu. So you'll notice that site, component, security across here is uh, listed. Now you'll notice that content is not listed up here or shown in the tabs at the, at the top. And the reason for that is because I've hidden that particular tab. I'm gonna right click on content and choose update menu. This comes up with a form box and you can see that there, at the very bottom there's an option called permissions. Now I have added view underscore tab underscore content as a permission on this particular item. I'm going to take it out just to show you what will happen. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to refresh and now you'll see that content has appeared. It's now available. So this shows you within ModX Revolution Manager, you can customize any part of the manager you want. You can add a permission that will either hide or display any part of the manager. And that's extremely flexible. It's a great customization tool. Now let's go back into the actions again. And I'm going to add back this permission. And I can call it anything I want as long as it's not the same as another permission that's already been created. So for my particular um, syntax, I use view, tab, and then whatever the name of the, the tab is. And that way it's easy for me to remember. So I'm going to hit save. So now when I click home. Now the reason that it disappears is because in my particular uh, access policy that the editor is using, it does not have that particular permission. So when you add a permission to an action, you also need to add it to any policy that you want to be able to display that particular action. So in this case, I'm going to want to put in this particular tab into the administrator policy because I want the administrator policy to see everything that I see at the top. So I'm going to go into security, access controls, and I'm going to right click on the administrator policy, click edit, permissions, and now I'm going to add a new permission to the administrator access policy. And I'm just going to paste that in here like this, and I'm going to put the content tab. Add that, save, and now if I was to log in as an administrator, even though as editor I can't see the content tab, as administrator it will appear. Why? Because I've added that permission to the access policy. So whenever you want to add uh, something visible that's not already there, then I have to add it into the policy that I want. So let's just do something for a quick example of this before we finish this little tutorial. I'm going to go back to my uh, list of access policies and I have created one called content admin which is what the editor is using. I'm going to edit this and you'll notice here that there is an about permission and it displays the about page which is under reports about. So I'm going to remove this permission from the content admin policy, save it. I'm going to refresh and now under reports it's gone. So that's pretty simple. We're going to go into this in more detail but that's the basics. You create a policy, a permission, you add it to a policy. Any policy that does not have that permission will not have access to that action or whatever it is you've added the policy to.